Dr. Carve of the Appropriate Rural Technology Institute, ARTI, has developed a revolutionary approach to generating methane. The new method is more efficient than the traditional one, and it doesn't need dung. Our system is 400 times as efficient as the dung-based biogas plant. And because of that, we could reduce the size. We have light, let there be light, God said. And the light, it was made from biogas. And the gas, it was made from bacteria. You have plugged in the light. Hi, this is T.H. Colhane from Solar Cities. And we're, whoa, we're standing here. Let me push it. I push that, I just, I keep the lights going. Anyway, we are now running our first four-stroke 65 horsepower engine on the biogas that had us produced. And you can hear me shaking it and pushing the last gas out. Yeah, that's true. Thank you for Solar Cities. I'm T.H. Culhane with our first successful biogas engine conversion on the rooftops of the Zabalin community in Cairo, Egypt. And this is our biodigester, otherwise known as our sacred cow. Imagine that this is the cow's mouth, this is the cow's throat, and this is the cow's stomach. When you feed the cow, it's going to pass gas. That's right. And that gas is going to be under pressure. Making biogas is a gas, gas, gas. It's the same gas as the gas we pass. Making biogas is a gas, gas, gas. It's the same gas as the gas we pass. When you see trash piled in the middle of a third world country street, and you hear the food for fuel debate and wonder how we eat. Would we really save much energy if we all gave up meat? Do we really need those nukes, or is that just the drum they beat? Must be some other way. Is there another way? You bet your ass. And it's a gas. And it's a blast. It's biogas. Yeah, biogas. We live through the age of stupid. The U.S. was king of fools, spreading blatant propaganda that we needed fossil fuels. But we've always had bacteria and other microbes too, making methane gas and alcohol and other biofuels since Henry Ford. And way before, there's been no need to go to war. There is an answer to please Al Gore. We can't afford to just ignore the simple fact of biogas. Methane from microbes and garbage recycled by thermophils, mesophils, psychrophils too. This is the only true natural gas. The other is still fossil fuel. Fossil food. It's time we switch to biogas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't you think it's kind of funny all the research, all the money that we spend each year on nukes and fossil fuels? When every city, every household has enough organic garbage to produce all of the energy we use. Cause everybody has bacteria from the South Pole to Siberia And they live to turn our waste into new fuel There is no energy crisis, Christ the planet's trying to help us All the answers are in nature, ain't that cool? Let's change the rules We have the tools Harness the sun Make me happy because I made it. Anybody can make biogas, folks. You can try 
have this one at home. Just a couple of plastic containers, one filled with some gravel and water and manure, a lake mud for the microbial starter culture, the other to collect the gas, feed the tank your kitchen waste today, and tomorrow you get up to two hours of truly natural gas. Cause making biogas is a gas, gas, gas. It's the same gas as the gas we pass. Microbes are taking care of business every day. Taking dirty business and making it okay. Anaerobic respiration is the pathway that we use. It starts with hydrolyzing food wastes into simpler molecules. Acetogenesis forms hydrogen, acetic acid too. They're reassembled by methanogens into a gaseous brew of CO2 and CH4, which, which we, we can, can burn. burn. We can store It can be used to cook or heat our homes From generators, refrigerators, cars and trucks and more It's time we switch from oil No need for nukes at all It's time we switch to biogas Making biogas is a gas, gas, gas 